This weekend, I did not wash my car by hand. I felt a little bit bad about doing it, like I was doing it dirty, but I had to take it to Bucky's to get it washed because I haven't had time over the past couple of weeks to get it washed and it was getting pretty dirty. So I took the kids there, had a good time. It actually came out pretty good. Did a little bit of detailing at the end and gave it a vacuuming. The reason I needed to do that is because I needed to clean it so that I could show you guys this stuff. That is the Chemical Guys VRP, that is the vinyl rubber plastic. Um, I've never used it, but I hear great things about it and I've been dying to use it. So we're gonna go over some of the uh, pros and cons between using a product like this or a spray product for your tires. The thing I love about the Chemical Guys, their products aren't just for one thing. This one, multi-use, I love it. I can use it on my tires primarily, but any kind of plastic trim on the outside, I'm gonna use it on it. And we'll see kind of what results we get inside. If you get vinyl or plastic inside, use this stuff. So it's really versatile and that's what I love about it. Of course, you can buy this stuff standalone, just this bottle here, I think it comes in a couple sizes. Or you can get it with the whole kit. I ended up getting it with these applicator pads and I'll tell you why, I really, I really like them. Obviously, you don't have to use these applicator pads. You can use anything really. Um, you could use a microfiber cloth, doesn't matter. Like any of their products, you're gonna wanna shake them really good. Make sure that all the different components are mixed up. Let's take a look and see how this stuff feels. It smell, of course, this stuff always smells good. It smells like some of their wax products, like the Blazing Banana, and it has a feel like, um, like some of their wax products. A little bit different though, and they can really feel like a film that's staying behind, like it's very, very waxy, but let's see kind of what, what shine it's gonna provide, because that's what we all want. We want our stuff to be protected, but we also want it to look black, like super black, and we want it to stay that way. So I mentioned at the start that I had to get my car washed, and that's what's important with this product, actually. You wanna make sure that you wash your plastics, your rubbers, give them a good scrub. You can even get a special product for that. Honestly, just, just clean it off. You don't wanna be using this and this to try to make it shine, but also cleaning it. You'll notice right away, this will be just covered in black. So we already gave it a shake. Let's go ahead and get just a little bit on here and see how well this works. We're just gonna start here at the top. I'm just gonna work our way around. You're not scrubbing it in, <laughs> like, cause but once again, you're not cleaning. And see, no matter what, I got black on there. Uh, you know, it's just inevitable, especially with tires. Apply a little more. Wow, that looks really good. Let's check it out on some plastics and see how well it does there. This plastic piece across the front edge of my car is probably one of the spots where it has the most damage already. Let's see how well it refurbishes it. Now we got a little bit on the applicator here. We're just gonna just take it straight across. Back and forth a couple times, make sure that we work it in there. And we're gonna do halves just so you can see this before and after. A lot of products like this, when they go on, of course, they're great, they're wet, and they look shiny, but how do they look after they dry? And I have a bunch of plastic on the bottom here, across the bumper, along the sides there. We're gonna hit that with this stuff and show you some before and afters, even after it dries, to show you that it's still black, because I think it, it's gonna end up that way. This stuff is drying on my fingers from earlier. I don't know if you can hear that. It is very like rubbery, kind of like uh, feeling very water repellent, like it's protected. drying for about 30 minutes. So let's see if now that it's dry, it retains that shine that it had when it was still wet. You can really see the before and after real easy here. Kind of chalky gray, white, very shiny black. Just like when I put it on. This one's even a little more noticeable. It actually looks dirty where it hasn't been wiped on. I just love that this product is so versatile. The primary reason that I got this product was to use it on my tires, shine them up, 
but it's a huge bonus that I can use it on all of my trim around the car and even inside where I have plastic or vinyl trim. Huge bonus, it looks great. And it's pretty easy to apply. So you might say, hey, why don't we just use this on the tires? It's easy, you just spray it. It's probably a little bit faster than this actually. So sprays, well, I think they, they look good. I don't know that they all last very long, um, but the problem is that there's a lot of overspray. Even if you're really careful, you're gonna get it on your wheels a little bit. And even on the back of these things, it always tells you, wipe it off. That's just, that's just a lot of extra time where you have to take a detail cloth wiping. And if you miss a spot or you forget to do it, it's going to semi dry up and it'll just start collecting road dust, which makes your wheels look trashy. So even though this takes a little bit longer, as long as you use an applicator of some kind to really accurately get it on there, it's gonna do an amazing job. So I got this done just in the nick of time. It started raining on me out here. But let's do some final thoughts on the VRP protectant from the chemical guys. This stuff was bought for tires. It doesn't even say tires on it, but I know it's good for it. It does a great job. Big, big bonus is that it is doing excellent on my trim on the outside. I hated the way that it was all chalky and white. And this stuff is a miracle worker. Uh, I can't wait to finish up the rest of the car with it and even try it out on the inside. What else can I say about this? I love that it's a multi-use product and it's not that expensive. They have a, um, a specific tire shine product that I think is almost like three times as much. I'd have to check myself on that. But this was only about $9.99. I think it was like $15 or $16 with the applicators. To me, that's a really good deal. I did notice I had to use quite a bit of the product. Um, I would put a little dab onto the sponge and I'd have to add more and more and more. So I don't know how long this will last, but the bottom line is I really like it and I'm gonna keep on using it. Hey, if this was helpful for you, please consider liking and subscribing. I would love to grow this channel to be able to bring you more reviews and content just like this, um, especially if it is helpful to you guys. Keep your cars clean, stay out of the rain, have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,